All right, give the domain of p of x equals the square root of 9 minus x in interval notation. So hopefully you guys remember from class that uh, if we take this 9 minus x, it must be greater than or equal to 0. It has to be greater than or equal to 0 because if it were negative, right, let's just look at an example over here on the side. If we had the square root of negative 2, hopefully you guys remember the square root, the definition of it, uh, if we had a square and the area was negative 2, what would be the side lengths? Well, to find the area of a square, you have the same lengths here. Uh, it couldn't be, uh, sorry, let's use 4 because that's a little bit more convenient. Well, 2 times 2 is 4, but it's not negative. The problem is if we make those negatives, then this 4 still becomes a positive. That's why this doesn't work. So in other words, that's why uh, whatever is inside the radicand or the square root, it has to be greater than or equal to zero there. From here, we just solve like we would a regular inequality. So some of you guys would add x to both sides. Some of you guys would subtract 9 from both sides. And it doesn't matter which one you do. Let's do this one just because it will create a very unique situation for us. So now we would divide both sides by negative 1. But remember, if we divide both sides by negative, it's going to flip that inequality. So notice right here it's eating the x. Right here it is not. That's because it flipped. Negative 9 divided by negative 1 is a positive 9. Now this would be the answer in, uh, as an inequality. However, notice in this problem they asked for interval notation. There's nothing wrong with that. Again, some of you guys may like to see the graph. Here you have 8, 9, and 10. And at 9, uh, some of you guys would use the closed circle. In class, we were using the brackets. So this one is not eating the x, so it goes to the left. And we would use this square bracket because it includes the 9. 9 would give make this... Uh, a possible statement it could happen so the interval would just be from 9 and this goes all the way to the left which would put us right at negative infinity so I made that kind of negative kind of big alright and that is the answer in interval notation